Pisces, Pisces, Pisces. Well, hello there, my beautiful Pisces. I hope you are doing well today. Thank you for all the beautiful likes, the comments, the shares, the subscriptions, the donations to my channel. It is greatly appreciated and well received more than you will ever know. So, Pisces, what I need for you to do right now is I need for you to give me all that fun, loving, exuberant, beautiful energy that you got. You can do that by clicking that like button. You can comment. You can share, you can subscribe, you can just do all those beautiful, magical mother trucking things that you do to me so well here at Talia's Tarot. So, I'm going to slap down the Florida water. Whoa. And I'm going to put down a little bit of coffee, because why not? Ah, so good in the neighborhood. So, you know what time it is. It's time to kick ass and take names. Tarot is now in session. The most honorable judge, T. T. Dong, presiding. Go ahead and do whatever the hell you want. So, we're going to check in on the energy of that person you're dealing with or whatever energy might be coming towards you, my beautiful loves. Whatever the case is, we're going to get it, we're going to hit it, and we're going to quit that shit together just like we always do, baby. Yeah. <coughs> Excuse me. I didn't mean to cough in your ear. Show me the energy of the person my beautiful Pisces is dealing with. Let's go. Come on. Sure. Okay. Hierophant's been coming out in a lot of the readings here. Show me the energy of the person my... Sure. What was that? King of Wands. Show me the energy... Okay. Shit. Shuffle, shuffle. Shuffle, truffle. Okay. All right, Pisces. Down on the table, I've got the Hierophant. I've got the King of Wands. I've got the Knight of Swords. The overall energy... For the reading is the El Diablo, no bueno rollo Diablo Pisces. Your person wants to coil around you like a snake, okay? This person is very much tempted by you, and they want to eat your apple, the Piscean apple. <laughs> I've got the hierophant down here on the table. Okay, seems like you've got the key to this person's heart. You've got some kind, something magical here about you, Pisces. I don't know. And you got some kind of special key here, okay, that's going to unlock something, and I don't know what that is. But we'll find out after this commercial break. Just joking. I'm back. King of Wands down here on the table. Yep, King of Wands. He is very fickle in love. He is a player. Everybody is attracted to the King of Wands. Everybody wants to be with the King of Wands, but it really takes somebody fancy and special to really capture the king of wands heart on the negative side the king of wands is looked at as a little bit of a possessive controlling freak which is kind of funny because if you're fickle in love the last thing you have a right to be is possessive and controlling right somebody fickle in love but and then they're controlling no no We've got the Knight of Swords. So obviously there's an obstacle here. Knight of Swords comes in and he removes obstacles and blockages. So we are going to see what this obstacle and what this blockage is here in this person's energy. Show me the block. Block. What's this block? What's this block? Show me this block here with the Knight of Swords. They're going to want to remove. What's this blockage they're going to remove? Show me this blockage. Okay. Okay. We've got the Ace of Pentacles. Let me get one more on that for a little bit more contrast. What's this Ace of Pentacles with a Knight of Swords? What's this Ace of... Okay. Okay. So basically here, it's like this person wants to offer you something. The Ace of Pentacles is a very slow-moving energy. The Ace of Pentacles takes a long time to get there. Um, Ace of Pentacles could be, you know, like a, this person buying a, a new house. It takes a long time to buy a new house. It's not something you can just go to Walmart and buy, right? So this person needs the strength here, though, to be able to remove this obstacle, the willpower, the determination here. Okay, and it looks like they're coming in to remove this obstacle. So why are they wanting to remove this obstacle here? Why does this person want to remove this obstacle? Why? Why? Come on, come on, come on. Why? Okay. Oh, 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 oh. the Queen of Wands out of the card. That's tarot perfection. Yeah, you damn right it is. Sorry, my cards are blowing all over the place here, guys. I have no control over it. <laughs> oh, look at that. They're blowing it. Okay, I'm going to get my seashells out here. We're going to lock this down. 
Is that better? Yeah, I got some seashells. Did you guys see my seashells? Isn't that pretty? I could just do, I could pick up seashells all day. This is like, this reminds me of the American flag. Oh, here's another pretty one. Let me show you my other one. So whoever gave me the idea out there, thank you again for letting me know to grab seashells to use as protection stones and covering up all the naughty bits here on these cards. <clears throat> okay. So it feels like this is a marriage. And I feel like somebody wants to come in here and marry you. This Ace of Pentacles, that takes a long time too. So if they're not buying you a house, maybe they just, well, maybe they just want to marry you and buy a house, you know? I mean, I'm just saying it is here. The energy is here. Okay. Very interesting. Ooh la la, bonsoir. Okay. Uh, so we're going to talk, I think, to the King of uh, Wands next, and then we'll move over to that Hierophant. So why is the King of Wands here? Why is the King of Wands here? Sure. Okay. It's the star. It's a renewal energy. Okay. So this person is hoping and praying. Like, without faith, there is no hope. OK, there's a clearing energy here. So what is this? Uh, what, what are they trying to have faith and hope here about? What's this King of Wands trying to have faith and hope about? here? <clears throat> Let's get one more on that Queen of Swords for contrast, please. One more. Thank you, Queen of Swords for contrast. OK, so this person is hoping that you're not going to be cold hearted when it comes to communication and hold back your energy. This is what this person is coming in here. So they're hoping that you are not going to come off like a, the ice queen here at the end of the day and hold back your energy. And so why do they not want Pisces to be the ice queen and hold back their energy, please? Why? Why? Sure. Okay. We've got Lady Justice for the gavel bang. Thank you, Lady Justice. Okay. So... Literally, with all these surrounding cards out here, what this is literally telling me, because just justice is what? The seeker of truth. Lady Justice, she welds the sword of truth. She wants nothing but the truth, so help you God. Lady Justice is also a card about, you know, going to court or, you know, getting eloped here. And it seems like with this three of pentacles that you guys have already established some kind of foundation here in this connection here. And this person is wanting to lock you down and take you to Pound City and pet that kitty. <laughs> well, we all like Pound Town City, Illinois. I mean, that's literally a city, you know. <laughs> okay. We're going to talk to the Hierophant now. Why is the Hierophant here? Let's go. Okay. What's the Hierophant here for? Okay. It seems like this marriage got fucked up along the way. Somehow, some way here. This is definitely, if you guys aren't married, there's something here where... There was an opportunity to, to take this situation further if you're not married. And this person here fucked up, like royally fucked up, like crown royally fucked up. When you crown royally get fucked up, you know, you make a pendejo of yourself at the end of the day. So let's go ahead. Let's talk five cups to the Hierophant. Five cups. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, they're worried here with these 10 swords that this is going to be over. Okay. And this person's feeling it in their heart, heart chakra here and they're not feeling too good about it. So somebody here wants to fix this connection here, Pisces. Oh my goodness. So I am going to end this here. I love you, beautiful Pisces. Thank you for joining me on another episode of as the fish swims. These are the tales of your fins. Tales adjourn.